What's up guys, it's the Amak Man and today I'm gonna show you how to get the custom thumbnail um, even uh, if you're not a YouTube partner. So custom thumbnails uh, require a partnership but today I'm gonna show you how to get one um, without being a partner or having something else related with YouTube and uh, anyway. So here's on uh, how to get custom thumbnail for you simple people out there that do YouTube videos and you want to make your videos better and make them more attractive to people to click on. So let's get started. First you will need um, an editing program, any editing pro program will do. Um, um, if you want uh, you can find some free ones online. So I'll use today iMovie. All you have to do is get into your editing program get your video that you want, this is from my old videos, an Angry Bird video, that uh, this is my past video actually uh, an Angry Bird, I cut it a bit so that it won't be so long to export and upload to YouTube in order to show you how it works so this is for demonstration only, you can do it as uh, long as you want, there's no restrictions on that so um, I created um, a custom thumbnail on, um, on Photoshop, yeah, so that's the thumbnail right here non-partnership custom YouTube thumbnail so that's what uh, the video about today that's what my thumbnail for this video will be uh, yeah inception I know so uh, let's minimize that I'm gonna drag this onto iMovie right there as you can see it put it at the end you can um, set up your crop and uh, can go right here and says uh, cropping, keyburns, and rotation. I'll say fit to screen. So, yep. So that's okay. Um, so you could find any image on, uh, online, uh, or you could create uh, your thumbnail online. With you don't have to have Photoshop. Any editing program you want uh, will do. And uh, I created this in Photoshop. What you will need is um a high uh, megapixel, not megapixels actually. A large uh, image I used on Google search and uh, in the preferences I said large and uh, I found this background right there I went on Photoshop and routing this uh, text right here you could do this with any editing program and what you will need to do is expand this to actually um, go right there uh, clip adjustments that's for iMovie you could do it anywhere, uh, as you would like so I put it like uh, 20 seconds so that, that it could take um, like this, maybe I'll do it more to be sure, you could do like 5 minutes to be sure that's gonna be okay so I'll do it like um, 6, 200 and uh, as you can see put it there for long so that's it. Uh, I'm gonna export this right now and be right back to show you how to put it on YouTube, edit it there, and have a custom thumbnail. So um, the export of the video has um, finished, and I have the video right here. It's actually on 300 uh, and 60p because uh, I didn't want it to do uh, much time to upload on YouTube in order to show it to you. That's gonna be private because that's not an actual video but I'll show you how to how it works and the other stuff that you need to know so as you can see here it's the Angry Bears game and uh, probably at about three yeah at this point changes to the uh, custom thumbnails actually double um, the video so at the end of the video I put uh, the custom thumbnail uh, as the time of the actual video so uh, it's actually doubled, the time is doubled on the uh, initial video and you can see here the thumbnail for about three three, um, three minutes uh, and um, you could do this uh, with any video even a 30 second video you could do this and uh, or a one hour video you could do this as well so here let's go on YouTube and um, let's open this and uh, click on upload select files and um, I'll go right where is it so yeah custom thumbnail toot 
So I'm uh, uploading this five minutes. I'll speed this up. I'm gonna write something right here. Actually, I'm gonna write custom thumbnail. I'm gonna speed this up so I'll be back when this is finished. So as you can see here guys the um sorry about that. I don't know what that's happening. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean that's about for flutter. I should cut that. So um here's the uh um uh, processing has uh, stopped and has processed, so here's my thumbnail custom thumbnail you can put where everything you want it works great and as you can see I go here my uh, video manager and uh, so what do we need to do right now it's still processing so once uh, the process is done maybe uh, yeah so let's wait for it to um, process uh, fully um, I'll speed up again the uh, no actually it's done so uh, here's the final process uh, the final process stopped and let's minimize that and we're going to the video manager then go to uh, edit so you can edit your videos and go to uh, enhancements what you have to do is click on trim so what you need to do is drag this thing drag it where your video actually stops and then mine actually stops right there and uh, you're gonna save take a while in the meantime yeah that's what it says okay and um, so Sit tight. Your video edits are being processed. Uh, processed. Come back to this page uh, in a little while. So um, after you've done that, you can put your video on um, on public, and then you have your custom thumbnail, as you can see right there. Um, I got this edit in process, in progress. So uh, that's it, guys. Wait for it to edit, and then you can put it on uh, public. So that was it, um, thank you very much and uh, hope this worked for you. Uh, so a recap, basically you have to do your image, edit it, put it in a single video and then uh, put it double time of the actual video. It's actually, uh, so the final uh, outcome will be uh, double the time of the actual video. And then put it on YouTube, uh, let it process, select the thumbnail that you want, then go into the... Um, the, the edit part right there go to uh, enhancements as you can see right here and click on trim uh, yeah until previous edit finished processing click on trim right there and drag your uh, the bar wherever you want it to stop at so that's it guys thank you very much and uh, please comment and subscribe this was one of my uh, most useful videos I believe and uh, so I hope you appreciate that. Uh, sorry for being too long, but I wanted to explain that fully so everybody could understand. So that's it. Thank you very much and peace.